Welcome back. I am Chris Borst, the Ghost Doctor, and at last we've arrived at another pivotal investigation. Now, ever since questioning Eliza on the rules of the afterlife, I had so many questions swirling around in my head, and finally I was able to find a location that had a high enough level of activity that we could finally get into another interview with a spirit. And let me just preface that this is the very first time anything like this has been done in the paranormal field, especially when it comes to TV. So this is the first. I've had four people there that can also confirm that what went down was totally accurate, and you're about to see history in the making. My name is Chris Boris, and I'm the first ever ghost behaviorist. I interact with spirits by studying their behavior patterns. So you were involved in that crash, correct? And I come armed with psychology, sociology, and ancient texts to connect with the spirit on a higher level which has never been done before. Oh, oh I got goosebumps I on that, that With these new skill sets, I can talk with them. Did you die in this room? Interview them. And really get into their psyche. Do you want us to kill somebody? Which in turn helps me to diagnose them. <laughs> Hauntings in this world are on the rise. And it's because these bigger issues are at play. I'm here to counsel the dead and help empower the homeowners they haunt. Ooh, you're right here, aren't you? The next level of ghost hunting is here because the ghost doctor is in. Tonight my travels bring me to the Collingwood Art Center in Toledo, Ohio. And this facility has a ton of paranormal activity happening here late at night. This ranges from reports of shadow people strange footsteps walking down the hallways, and even a young girl hanging around the bathroom area. Tonight, I'll be venturing inside this massive building with my investigation team in tow. Hopefully with a little luck on my side, I'll be able to get into another conversation with a spirit here. After all the lights are turned off and starting my investigation, little do I realize that I am moments away from actually meeting a spirit that dwells here. All right, so there's reports of a little girl in this bathroom area. Now this is a K2 meter, and this is a device that I use to get conversations with spirits going. When spirits are around, this thing will light up like crazy, giving me a chance to communicate with them. Caroline, are you in here? Did that just go off? Yeah. Caroline, can you touch that again for me, please? Ho, ho, ho. Are you a little girl? Caroline, can you make a noise for us, please? Would you like it if I brought a toy in here? Caroline? That's interesting. We were waiting for her to make a noise and we just heard something slam right on that bench. I found like someone sat down on that bench. Yeah. It like wood. Yeah, you can. Well, we asked her to make a noise. I mean, geez. Yeah, Doesn't get much. Uh... Caroline, is that you? Whoa. Can you back away from the meter, please? Okay, thank you. Um, can you, hold on, let me ask the question. Can you touch that meter if you're a young girl? Are you male? Are you female? Come on, give me something here. All right, go ahead and touch that meter again. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I want to know what what you are. Are you are you Caroline? Is that yet not your name? Ooh. Do you need energy to tell us your name? Are you, are you male? Are 
Can you not tell us? Okay, can you light those lights up for me? Ho ho ho, that one went off too. Are there more than one of you in this area? Spike a meter. Is there just one of you? Ooh. You're right here, aren't you? Touch that meter if you're female. Touch that meter if you don't know what you are. Do you want us to pray for you? Yes? Do you need help moving on? No. Are you stuck where you are? Yes. Was it because of something you did while you were alive? No. Is it hard for you to give me your name? Did that one just go off? Oh, yeah. Do you want us to leave? No. Are you having fun with us? Oh, wow. Wow, you're laughing at us, aren't you? Talk about incredible. To get into another interview with a spirit at another location was amazing. And you could tell by just looking at the spikes that there was an actual intelligence behind this. And this is kind of why I was getting repetitive in my question asking at this point to show that we aren't getting conflicting answers here. The meter is spiking at all the right times. Do you miss the residents at this uh, facility here? No? Do you like having the place to yourself? Yeah. Did you used to live here? Or are you just wandering through? Have you been here a long time? It's like they answer a couple questions and they leave. Oh, there you are. Why, well, thank you for talking with us. I'm having a great time here. Whoa. I think I said hungry. <laughs> Country, okay. An ovulus is what I like to call a voice box for the dead. This thing seems to pick up on the energy in an area and associate a word with it. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Are you from America? Are you from a different country? Did you not give us the word country? Okay, so disregard that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, some religions talk about the absence of time on the other side. Can you view time? Or are you stuck here like we are, basically? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Can you hear music where you are that we can't? Do you not hear music? Like angelic music? Okay, so you don't. Interesting. Are there areas of the physical realm that you can access that we can't? Because in the Egyptian Book of the Dead, it talks about uh, once you pass over, 
you then have access to places that people in the living state do not have access to. Is that correct? Or is that incorrect? So that would mean, I've got a lo I'm lost in my own semantics here. <laughs> Are you having fun? Oh, good. Well, glad to be a service, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a great conversation up until this point with me throwing a lot of softball questions. So now I thought since we had a certain level of comfort established, I think it's now time to shift gears and throw some harder questions at her and see what happens now. Do you get frustrated that sometimes people can't hear you talk? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I would get mad too, or frustrated. Are there certain uh, terms that I'm using that you don't understand? Because I know there are certain people who lived in the 1800s that uh, they don't understand the word okay. Do you understand what the word okay means? Okay. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Let me ask you this because in my research, uh, this came up. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> is there a way to bring forth a certain person from the afterlife, say like a celebrity or a certain person from time? So you're not afraid to move on, right? Just so I know. Are you afraid to move on? Are you not gonna answer that? Because there are rules, right? Yes, I'm well aware of that. So here we go again. Rules to the afterlife. It is confirmed. Every spirit I've ever asked on this subject will confirm that yes, they do exist and they have to follow them. So you're not afraid to move on, right? Just so I know. This is yet another question that they are not allowed to answer. Amazing. Is there somebody policing the afterlife? Are, are these things, are these rules of the afterlife something that you just know once you cross over? <sighs> Nothing. Ah, frustrate me. <laughs> I knew, I, I just knew that the spirit would answer that question, but Hey, I had to try, and that's exactly what this show is all about. All right, let me ask you this. Are you not allowed to move things if a camera is on the object? Can a camera be on if you want to move that object? Is that possible? It is. Can you shove one of those meters for me? Can you do that for me? Are you having a hard time moving that? Yes. Yes? Do you know if different spirits have different type of powers to do something like that? Are there different skill levels that spirits have? Like in martial arts, there's different tiers. Hello? Are you still here with us? 
The conversation that I had with this spirit, who is not Caroline, by the way, uh, was phenomenal. It is just like the one we had at the St. Augustine Lighthouse. And this interaction seemed to last a good 60 minutes. I was feeling cold spots. Uh, we were getting all kinds of interesting readings. And I was just getting answers to questions I've had ever since our encounter with Eliza at the lighthouse. So this was just phenomenal to get another conversation here at the Collingwood Art Center. Tonight I was able to learn a little bit more about the afterlife. And it's startling to know that these spirits are still bound by time, just like we are in the living state. Oh, wow! The one thing that did end up throwing me was that this spirit would not answer the question of if it was a male or female. I want to know what, what you are. And later in this season, well, we'll show you an investigation of exactly why this spirit didn't answer that question. Stay tuned because there are many more spirits to help and the ghost doctor will return.